and we're dry currently. We did have some snow move on through last night and this morning, but that moved out and we actually snuck in a little bit of sunshine. You can see on our local three radar network, radar looping top part of your screen. There's the time over the past three hours and you can see dry conditions, but our next round of snow isn't that far away. You can see it getting ready to move into the Minneapolis St. Paul area and that's going to start to move on off towards the north and east and will be in our area as we go into later tonight and for the first part of Monday. As we look at temperatures, temperatures not all bad in the 20s, 17 degrees at the Luce County Airport east of Newberry. We have 27 degrees for Menominee and also Iron Mountain and also for Sawyer International. As we look at our local three future cash, you can see like you saw on the temperature map, temperature in the 20s. Watch temperatures as we go into the overnight hours. They're actually going to begin to inch on up and by tomorrow morning we'll see temperatures upper 20s, maybe lower 30s across the UP and you can see the snow moving on through. We're not looking at heavy snow, but like last night it could coat the roads just a little bit so the roads might be slick in some spots. That's out of here. Watch temperatures tomorrow afternoon. They are in the 30s and with temperatures above freezing in some spots we could see Maybe some light snow mix in with a little light rain, but I think the bulk of the precipitation is going to be for the first part of the day in the morning. That's out of here. Tomorrow evening, we catch a little bit of a break and even some clearing. I think temperatures tomorrow night, lows will be early on in the teens and 20s, and then temperatures inch on up by Wednesday morning. And then as you can see by Wednesday afternoon, it is UP wide snow again in here with high temperatures on Wednesday in the 20s. All right, snowfall forecast. I'll stop it at lunch lunchtime tomorrow. You can see as the snow moves in here for the overnight, we get some snowfall accumulation. Like I said, I stopped it at lunchtime. You can see the snow that's going to move through here later tonight on into Tuesday morning will accumulate me around an inch. Maybe some spots get lucky and get two inches of snow. And then our next batch of snow moves on in here and we could see some snow that might make us pull out the snow shovels and snow blowers for Wednesday afternoon as we could get a couple more inches of snow on in here as we go into Wednesday morning on into Wednesday afternoon. So to track the snow coming up here for later tonight on into Tuesday morning and then once again on Wednesday, download our WGM and Local 3 app. We're also online at upmatters.com and that's where we do have an interactive radar and then find us on our Facebook page and while you're on Facebook, search the 906 Weather Watchers page and join. All right, here's our extended forecast. We are looking at temperatures in the 30s for Tuesday. We'll have some snow, especially in the morning, early afternoon and then some lingering snow which some rain could mix on in and then for Wednesday we're looking at high temperatures in the 20s and 30s and we could see some UP wide snow and then turning colder for Thursday with some spots not getting out of the single digits teens for highs for Thursday with some lake effect snow showers and spots and then we do have a UP wide snow chance for Friday and Saturday with high temperatures back in the 20s and then maybe cooling off just a little bit by the 